So we are successfully making Ajax request to our servers and what the request is sending back to us is a status. So what we are going to do is save that status on our components scope. So we have a data and we this is going to return an object. The first we are going to have is the status and we just leave this to a blank string right here. As soon as we get a response and remember the status is in that response, we we'll assign that status to the status of our data in our component. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll say instead of console.login or we can console.log and we'll say this, that status, which is this status property on our data is going to get response.body.status and that's it. So let's go ahead and gulp watch this. So we'll have the fresh changes. So now that that's watching, let's go ahead and view in the browser. So let's send a request and we got the request. If we check in our view components and the, the friend components you discover now we have two states. Okay. So the prop that we passed in, which is the two and we have the status, which is set to zero, which is actually the status that we got from the request. So now, we're going to be displaying information to the user depending on the status that we receive right here from our re re request. Okay. But before we go into that, another data property that I would like to implement is a loading property. Okay. And uh, you probably want to use this in most of your components because it's always good to know if maybe a request that you sent has completely loaded or not. Okay. So what we'll do is actually set this to true so the component is loading or maybe a request is loading it's set to true automatically and uh, as soon as our request is completed we will res we reset this to false meaning it meaning it's not loading okay so the first information that i would like to show right here is a loading state okay so p dot text center and uh, this will just say loading in which case, if you want this to be more attractive or something, you can actually display maybe a loader or something. Okay. So right here, so I'll just say V if equals loading. So in case the, the request is actually still loading data, we'll have a true. Okay. So as soon as the request is completed, it will set the loading to false and this component will no longer be displayed automatically. That's how view does it pretty easy for us. Okay. So if I go ahead to my browser and I refresh and uh, of course that's my fault because of course we have to say this dot loading equals loading equals false okay so we set the loading property to false sorry about that guys okay so if we check even it was giving us an error okay unexpected token I didn't see that okay so if we go ahead and refresh it shows loading and then it gets off. Okay. So as soon as the request is completed, it gets off. So just in case our server is slow, the user is going to see a loading property. Okay. Yeah. So that's some of the useful, that's useful information. Okay. So the next thing is actually to display an add friend button. If the status in our friendships controller, remember if they are not friends, we're sending a zero. So we'll display an add friend button if they are not friends at all to both users. Okay. So right here, we're going to have a button that button that button maybe primary or button success. And uh, this button is going to be displayed on condition that the status is zero. Okay. So we'll just say V if status equals zero. Okay. So if the status that we have right here, okay is equals to zero then we're going to display this button and this button is simply going to say add friend okay so this button i would like to put it in a p dot text center just so it's at the center as soon as this we receive the request and uh, as soon as we receive the request we have an add friend button that is going to be displayed if the status is zero Okay, so right here, I'm just going to say V if not loading. Okay, so if it's not loading anything from the server, we're just going to display this P tag and right here, we'll have a list of buttons. So let's go ahead and see that if I refresh, you see the status is zero. Remember, so the status right here is zero. So it shows the add friend button and it's going to be pretty much the same thing for my friend Emily. So refresh, 
loading and we have an add friend button okay so that seems to be working and uh, what about the other status so right here we can actually have a status for accept friend accept friendship request so maybe accept friend if the status is equal to remember we say if he has, has pending request from we show pending okay so if the status is pending so if he has a friend has pending friend request from this user then the status is going to be set to pending and we're just going to display the accept friend button okay so, and uh, also another status we want to set is if the status is equal to waiting okay then we'll not display a button actually will not display a button what we'll do is just display maybe a span tag with some information and we'll just say check success so it's green and then we'll say v if the status that we received is equal to maybe waiting okay meaning this user has already sent a request and we are waiting for the response so we are saying waiting for response and the, the last status that we might receive i think is uh so we have waiting pending friends okay so if we receive a status of friends meaning they're already friends we're just gonna display this one so we have status equals friends then we'll not say waiting for response we'll just say friends so you guys are friends okay you can hang out okay so we have the four status here that we're receiving from our request depending on the relationship between those two users and uh, if they are not friends we'll just say add friend if there's a pending friend request from the user who is viewing the profile right now we're just gonna say accept the friendship and if the status is waiting meaning you haven't meaning this you have sent or you've already sent a request then we just say wait for the response and uh, if they're friends we'll just say friends okay so that's how it works if we refresh now that the status is zero we have add friend right here and now that the status is zero we also have add friend so if we click that it doesn't work but we're gonna make this work in the next video